We're going to prove that two real numbers, a and b, are equal if and only if, for every epsilon greater than zero, the absolute value of a minus b is less than epsilon. Recall that the absolute value of a minus b is the distance between a and b on a number line, so it should seem reasonable to suspect that if the distance between two numbers is less than any positive number, those numbers must be equal. Now, this is an if and only if statement, so we've got two directions to prove. For the first one, we will assume that our real numbers a and b are equal, and we want to prove that for every epsilon greater than zero, the absolute value of a minus b is less than epsilon, and this part is pretty trivial. Our hypothesis is that a equals b. If a is equal to b, what do we know about about the absolute value of a minus b. Well, certainly the absolute value of a minus b is equal to the absolute value of zero, because a minus b is equal to zero. The absolute value of zero is equal to zero, and that is certainly less than epsilon for every epsilon greater than zero. And so we are done. If two real numbers are equal, then the distance between them is less than any positive number. Now let's prove the other direction. Next, we'll assume that for every epsilon greater than zero, the absolute value of a minus b is less than epsilon, and we want to prove that a and b must be equal. A contradiction argument might seem like a great idea here. We would say, suppose for the sake of contradiction, SFC, that a is not equal to b. Remember, we're trying to prove that a and b are equal, given this condition, so we want to suppose that we have this condition and a and b are not equal. This is useful because a not being equal to b means there is some distance between them, as in the absolute value of a minus b must be greater than zero, since a and b are not equal. And perhaps you see the incoming problem. Since the absolute value of a minus b is greater than zero, it is a valid epsilon value. As in, if we say epsilon is equal to the absolute value of a minus b, by our hypothesis, we must have that the absolute value of a minus b is less than epsilon. So we have that the absolute value of a minus b is less than epsilon, but epsilon is equal to the absolute value of a minus b. So we have that the absolute value of a minus b is less than itself. That, of course, is no good. That's a contradiction. One more time, we assumed that for every epsilon greater than zero, the absolute value of a minus b is less than epsilon. We supposed, for the sake of contradiction, that a and b are not, in fact, equal. Thus, the absolute value of a minus b is greater than zero, and so we can use it as an epsilon value. And then our hypothesis implies this contradiction. Thus, from assuming that a and b are not equal, under this condition, we get a contradiction. So in fact, A and B must be equal. And that completes the second part of the proof. Two real numbers, A and B, are equal if and only if, for every epsilon greater than zero, the absolute value of A minus B is less than epsilon. Somebody else knows